Max Bosch has done a video called I Stole Mr. Beast's DNA to Make Cheese. Don't really get what you mean by that, Mr. Max, but we're going to find out. All I'm saying is, could you not have just skipped the middle part to make the cheese and stolen some some dick cheat? That's no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. At the Sidemen Charity Football Match, I did something that none of you noticed. Not that. Definitely not that. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> this what? is me with a swap, and I'm about to try and steal some DNA in front of 64,000 people. Look at all these people out here. So I can make cheese. Just because you've got good bacteria, it doesn't mean to say you're going to make nice cheese. My targets would be Mr. Beast. That was insane. And KSI. I what? See John Cena. But would they realize what I was doing? Should have gone speed. Why I was doing it. Well, to answer that second question, let's rewind to three days before the match. He knows I'm here. Should have made a should have made a now, speed cheese. Should have made different versions. Una Reverse was apparently the most viral clip of the entire charity match. Yeah, I see that. I don't know what else. Speed missing a penalty is viral, but it's it's not. It didn't make it that far past anyone that knows speed, whereas this one made it all the way around, like, this made it around boomers and stuff, like, oh, did you see that guy? You know what I'm saying? Although I might look at it, I'm not totally crazy. This has been done before. They okay. got bacteria from hands and armpits of people, Ugh. put it in milk, and then turn that milk into cheese. So this is possible. This is doable. I'm playing in the Sidemen charity match in a couple of days' time. Mr. Beast and also KSI are going to be <laughs> there. So I'm thinking I make cheeses out of both of them, and I decide who makes the yummier cheese. <laughs> but the big question That's normal, is, isn't it? Why? I have the answer for you. These are the two creators with the biggest brands in the world. You've got Prime. Prime! I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> and you've got Feastables. These nuts taste so good. Those two brands are representations What's of Mr. Is? Beast and KSI. They're YouTuber products, but they are not products of the YouTuber. There has never been a product uh, you never know. made from Mr. The Beast YouTuber has these nuts. Until now, and I'm going to make that with cheese. Sorry, Max. Sorry to ruin the video, but someone sold bathwater. That counts. That's a product of someone. Bathwater counts. <laughs> I'm going to make cheese out of Mr. Beast and Gears Eye. Per I'll save you the 20 months. Appreciate I'm that. I'm going to need swabs. Luckily, you can get hold of anything online these days. So I went and bought some things I remembered from science class. Some sterile swabs and Petri dishes. And okay. made my way to the game. Right, it's the morning of the big day. I'm playing in a football match today. See, I find it so mad, right? So my my thought on the day was like, like, oh, you know, I just want to really, really enjoy today. Enjoy the day of the charity match, blah, blah, blah. Secondly, I thought, oh, should I vlog? Should I like, should I just vlog my day? And it is a good video. It's like, loads of people did it, obviously. Should I just do that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. There was no part of me that thought I'm going to make a completely separate video to this day. And Max has actually gone and As made a whole nother video. So I have to try and steal Mr. Beast and KSI's Ridiculous. DNA. Commitment. In order for this to work, I'd have to obtain a sample of each of the target's sweat at some point during the day. Smart, the no, 100% smart. The more bacteria, so I'd need them to be proper moist. Once I'd got their bacteria, I'd have to immediately transfer the swab to an agar filled Petri dish, which would keep the samples alive long enough to hopefully be made into cheese. I just need to find the opportunity to get the bacteria, <laughs> which is going to be so hard. As I joined the rest of the players downstairs, I was hoping to make first contact with my cheesy duo, but rather worryingly, they didn't Such seem to weird be in the team hotel. <laughs> Good, Good to see you. How, How are you doing? doing? Yeah, get thanks, mate. And instead, I only seemed to be able to find people who, frankly, I had no interest in making cheese from whatsoever the fuck i think i'd make a great cheese i think i'm 60 percent cheese to be fair speed would have been good jack guy would have been good after a family bonding meal i finally Eric would have been good bus to the stadium and i spotted my first target <laughs> Here. I mean, I could go for it now, but I don't think I will. There it is. Old Beastie Boy was a little too dry currently for me to wangle a Q-tip round his neck. But as neither KSI nor Mr. Beast were playing on my team, I was keen to make contact as soon as possible. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> this audio 
Oh man, it's such Whilst a good day. Whilst I love day. a boisterous locker room full of lads as much as the next man, I had a mission to complete. At this point, I was hoping just to say hello to Jimmy and JJ, but they were nowhere to be seen. It was such a good day. But then, minutes before the game was due to start, Jimmy appeared. Oh! It's the perfect time to just want to run out there and film stuff. No one's out there. Amazing. Got first contact with Jimmy. He knows who I am. He knows I'm here. With first contact made, it was time to turn my attention to the match. And as it that started, green screen. <laughs> so did the waiting game. With both of my ingredient factories now in sight, I just had to find the right moment when they were ingredient nice and sweaty. Factories. So I touched Such two with sterile words. swabs in my sock and hit the pitch. And they're off. But I had a couple of other things to take care of first. Bosh. Jeez. The swabs are in my sock. That's a good celebration too, you know. Oh, and one more thing. Despite my best efforts in carrying the YouTube All-Stars, we couldn't quite match the prowess of Sidemen FC. <laughs> and with that, Blame the game was over. And I'd been so distracted during the match, I now had mere moments to complete my mission. What a goal! What a moment. Game just ended. It's but time. Swabs, Bro, he looks like he's taking drugs or something. He's just... Oh, oh did well play, mate. You did good. good. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, so my God. Complete. Now on to JJ. Swab number two. <laughs> JJ, you don't even bag. say shit to him. I don't even need to read goal. And they can't score. <laughs> My little escapade even got caught on the live stream and no one noticed. That's right, yeah. That's The winning trophy celebration was my perfect smoke screen. That is All I had to do was safely apply the bacteria from my swabs to the Petri dishes. How is this on his mind? How is he, like... The game just ended. How is he thinking about doing this? Unreal. A few days later and safely back at HQ, it was time to check on the goods. This is what the boys Program look like three months. in bacteria form. Over here, we've got JJ. That's what grows on your skin after playing 90 minutes of football. I think KSI has got some bad bacteria. Look at Jimmy. Jesus! Gross or really cool. Definitely gross. I don't know what I was thinking. But now that I had some live and kicking bacteria, it was time to create the first ever real YouTuber product. Let's go create some cheese, baby. And to do that, <laughs> I'd be heading to Fen Farm Dairy to meet up with Johnny, our helpful cheesemaker friend. The most important thing is that those Petri dishes do not get opened, because then it genuinely becomes a biohazard. I don't want my car stinking of Mr. Beast, thank you very much. Johnny, hello. Nice so to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Please Johnny man, is the Johnny. owner of this cheese factory, and he'd be helping me transform our sweaty swabs into actual cheese. Cheese entrance. <laughs> Authorised personnel only, and apparently today that's me. Before we could start this process, he had to check the quality of the bacteria. This is hair size. One of them's got to work. This okay. is Mr. Beast. What okay. are your first thoughts by just looking at these bits of bacteria? I would say Mr. Beast has not washed quite as well as KSI. <laughs> And then finally, oh, they just played a game. Cheese making process. In goal. First things first, so the bacteria off both Mr. Beast and KSI is mixed through the milk thoroughly. Have you got any sort of predictions what the flavour of KSI <laughs> will be? Or No idea. And here comes Mr. Beast. Here he comes. The next step is that we're going to send a sample from this milk tomorrow off to an accredited lab in the UK which will test for bad bacteria. So it's safe. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. So soon, we will have cheese. A safe cheese. Why cheese? Absolutely, yeah. Now, as excited as Johnny was to help me out, he'd be making this human cheese off-site, away from his normal produce, just in case there was a mix-up and someone got a Good. naughty surprise at Tesco. Imagine being, imagine like you order cheese, you eat it, and then you get a letter through the door like, I'm really sorry, but that was made of KSI. Milk comes through that pipe. It's the weirdest message you get. This is where we would normally add our so that I don't know if I find it nasty or intriguing. I definitely find this intriguing. As I was being filled to the I would try with cheese facts, Johnny then said something 
really interesting. Just because they say they're good bacteria doesn't mean to say they won't taste disgusting. Which didn't bode well for the all-important taste test. But after helping myself to some freebies that I assumed were up for grabs, I'd only have to wait two weeks to see the results. It's, it's fungi, so... Um... <laughs> um... Did he eat any cheese? Not any cheese. A cheese class. made of... And I think... Oh, I yeah, I would. If it was made... Like, as long as it wasn't made at home. If Max Vosch turned up and went, I made this cheese made out of KSI. Like, do you want to eat it? I'm saying no. If he shows me that it was made in a proper place, then yeah, I'd try it. The cheeses have arrived. Oh. <laughs> Sticks. The first... What type of cheeses are they? Made. Now, it's time to see who wins. Kevin, thank you for the sub. The first of our YouTuber cheeses made from a rare South Carolinian bacteria, cheese nuts. Nice. And being judged alongside it in the battle is that of like cheeses. A, is that like a Wensley day or something like that? What is that? What's Kevin's A punchy number, side Manchego. Ah, oh, no. And deciding once I and love for Manchego. all who would be the victor is legendary food critic. Matthew Fort. I'm Sorry, actually... does he know that he's eating this? Does he know that he's eating people cheese here? Or have beefy. you just told him he's eating cheese? Perfectly flavoured for this particular dish. In front of you, Mr. Fort, are two cheeses made with the bacteria from two human beings. Now, have you... He <laughs> 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 looks like he's been put in a horror film. <laughs> this, this is sore. It's called Cheese Nuts. It's a sort of, looks like sort of mousse-like texture. Whew. I don't know whether that's the human or the milk. This one is called side manchego. If I compare the two, the, the texture of this cheese seems to be slightly different. This seems to be slightly creamier. That one seems to be more moussey. And now on to the all-important taste test. Mmm. Quite soft. Mm. Bitterness at the back of the tongue. But does it, it, it taste nice? A cheese of character, I would call that. Oh my god. It's got a real tang to it. Very easy to eat. I think probably this is the one I would put on a biscuit. They remark the cracker, don't ever call that a biscuit again. In their, in their flavour profiles. Yeah, I think that they, um, this is a more sophisticated, it's a more integrated cheese. This is a, a bit sharper, a bit rawer, I would have said. So it literally describes them. They, they've literally created cheese off them. It gets their characteristics through that into them. That's so weird. Damn. I want to try like a Noah Beck cheese. That would be nuts. So, Matthew, you've had your cheese. You've had them with your biscuits. If you were to choose one of the two cheeses, which one would you choose? It's a, it's a tricky one. But if, if I was really pushed to it, this chappy here. Side Manchego. Side Manchego. Damn. With KSI the victor in the first ever YouTuber battle of the cheeses, I thought it was time to come clean to him and lay my cards <laughs> on the table. Hello, mate. Sick, twisted individual. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Has he done this? Have you seen the clip when I did it as well? <laughs> Unreal. You had no idea. I've got it right here. This is your cheese. I gave it to a food critic to see which cheese he preferred. And you, you won. You beat Jimmy. Oh, well, I tasted nicer. I want to try it. Yeah, because I'm more healthy. <laughs> what are you going to do with the rest of it? Mate, put it in the bin. I'm putting it straight. Oh, in. what? This is going nowhere. I'll do it again, bro. <laughs> Done it again. I'll try Jimmy's cheese too. Don't make it weird. Good video. Very good video. You said you wouldn't try it before. No, I would. I said I wouldn't try it if it was just like Max had made it. Like if if Max had made that cheese, then I wouldn't I wouldn't eat it. But the fact that he's gone somewhere to make it, yes, I would. We're making it weird. You are making it weird. More Simon video. Who has the nicest cheese? Not a bad idea to be fair. 